Exterior jungle. Morning. The group has been walking for hours now. They finally emerge from the dense jungle and find themselves at the base of a mountain. Could you guys fly us over this? Wouldn't be a good idea. We're better suited to flying at sundown and nighttime. If we try and do it this time of day, it could be fatal. That would suck. There might be another way. Look! Strau points to an opening in the mountain a few feet up. Could lead to the other side. Let's check it out. The group walks towards the opening. Then, the ground begins to shake. And several rotted hands pound their way through the dirt. Zombies push their way out of the earth. Dozens of them come to the surface, as soldiers and vampires shoot their way to the cave opening. Everyone runs into the cave. The last one in is Dark Horror. He keeps firing at the zombies while running in. Interior, caves, same. The group keeps some distance between them and the zombies. Dark Horror turns around and fires his grenade launcher into the zombies. The shell explodes and collapses rock and debris on the zombies. Unfortunately, the cave continues collapsing towards the Allies. Keep going! The group keeps running ahead of the cave and behind them. They finally reach a large cavern with three tunnels branching out from it. Interior cavern, same. Rocks continue to fall around them. Myotis notices one tunnel has light at the end of it. Everyone, I see light! This could be the way out! They start running to this tunnel. But then a huge stalactite falls on top of Murloc, pinning him down. Pharaoh sees this and runs back to help. Murloc's lower body is completely trapped underneath the stalactite. We'll get you out of here, Lieutenant. Don't bother. Not an option. Watch your backs! They all turn around and see zombies spilling into the cavern. Vampires and soldiers fight back quickly. Pharaoh is still at Murloc's side. Commander, forget it. You don't have time. You have to get out of here now. I'm not losing any more soldiers. I don't intend to go quietly. Murlock holds up a detonator. You know there's more in the backpack. Take it and get everyone the hell out of here now. Pharaoh takes the backpack and he runs towards the others, reaching Val. We need to leave now. What about Murlock? He's buying us some time. Okay. Let's get out of here. The warriors fight their way to the tunnel and exit. Exterior mountain, same. Once they get out, they quickly realize it's too steep to climb down. What now? Val notices a narrow ledge that snakes across to their right with a grassy plateau a few yards away. This way, everyone. One by one, they press their backs against the mountain and sidestep their way along the ledge. Interior, cavern, same. The zombies finally descend on Merlac. He holds up his detonator switch. Open up and say, ah. He presses the switch. The cavern explodes, taking out Merlac and the zombies. The explosion continues to erupt outward. Exterior mountain, same. The explosion shoots out of the tunnel. It shakes the mountainside violently, causing Strau to slip off the ledge. Strau! Without saying a word, Val jumps off the ledge and streaks towards the plummeting Strau. Val grabs Strau under his armpits and tries to grow his wings, but they don't come out. Come on! Val keeps trying to push out his wings as they continue to fall. No luck. Just as they're about to hit the jungle canopy, Val's wings finally emerge and he glides in past the treetops. Exterior, mountain plateau, same. They fly over to the others who have reached the plateau on the mountain. Once they land, Val retracts his wings and collapses. Val! Cyril and her fellow vampires run to his side. Val is barely conscious and his skin has turned pale white. Don't leave me! Remember our pact! I know. Had to save him. Val faints. The soldiers join them. 
Is he going to be all right? Pushing himself to fly this time of day has drained him. His condition is serious. Can he be moved? No, he needs time to heal. We can't stay here. It's only a matter of time before those damn things reach us. He can heal faster, but in order to do that, he needs blood. The soldiers shoot concerned looks at one another. As in biting into someone and drinking their blood? That is how we do it. With fresh blood, Val would be back to normal in just a few minutes. And what? You want blood from one of us? We can't feed off each other. Our blood is sterile. Can you even drink our blood? How do you think we've survived this long? Uh, how much blood does he need? Not sure. We've never had a situation like this. When we drink from wolves, we usually drain them until they're dead. Great. Count me out. Strahl steps forward. Count me in. You sure about this? He saved my life, so I owe him. Strahl kneels next to Cyril and Val. Thank you. Hey, we're allies. So, how are we going to do this? Your arm would work. Strahl rolls up the sleeve on his right arm. Okay, let's do this. Um, there's one other thing that would really help. What's that? Your blood's potency will increase if you change into a wolf. Really? All right, here goes. Strahl closes his eyes and changes into a werewolf. He nods at Cyril and turns his head in the other direction. Cyril moves Val up to Strahl's arm. Once Val's mouth brushes against the arm, he instinctively bites down into it. Strahl lets out a growl, but keeps looking away. Everyone looks on in disbelief and amazement. As he drinks the blood, Val's pale skin begins turning back to normal. Unfortunately, Val grabs hold of Strahl's arm and bites down harder. Strahl winces in pain. What's he doing? He's gone into a frenzy. Well, get him off! Val, Val, that's enough! Stop! Vampires grab a hold of Val and manage to pull him away from Strahl. Val lets out an angry hiss, spitting blood from his mouth. It's a struggle, but his vampires keep holding him back. Cyril grabs Val's face and looks directly at him. Val, look at me! It's Cyril! The wolves are allies, remember? We're allies! Relax! Calm down! Slowly, Val comes back to reality. His eyes return to their normal color and his claws shrink down. I don't know what came over me. The taste of blood was just... I know. Good to have you back. What happened to Strahl? Let's go see. Strahl, still in wolf form, is on his knees, panting. His fellow soldiers are gathered around him. Tor wraps Strahl's punctured arm up. Val and the vampires walk over to the soldiers. Is he going to be okay? He's bleeding, but healing at the same time. He'll be fine. You better stay in wolf form. Your arm will heal faster. Strahl lets out a grunt and nods his head. Val approaches Strauss slowly and kneels down in front of him. I'm so sorry. Thanks for bringing me back. Strahl nods his head at Val. Can you walk, Strahl? Strahl grunts in a way only the soldiers can understand. Then if we're done here, I see we keep moving before this jungle gets too crowded. The group walks down into the jungle. <laughs>